Hey, what's going on, everyone? Yeah, we got two weeks left of this show. We got one week left for most of you in your fantasy championship. Already talking about candy in the uh, in the chat right now, so I'm sure it'll be a bit of a wild night. We'll wait for everybody to filter in. We welcome you. Happy Tuesday night. Adam Azer and Dan Schneier here. Greetings, Dan. Just so you know, I edited out your entire review of the Knives Out sequel from the podcast. Come on, I said nothing. You said too much. I said um, nothing. But I didn't want everyone to hate you, so you're welcome for doing that. Well, that it's already too late for that. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? It was better like 10 minutes ago before I decided to eat a Chipotle burrito with the red hot sauce. And now, Ooh. man, is that spicy? I said put a little bit on, did the order online. You ever notice with these online orders, you never they never quite get them right. Like you're better off just going to the store and taking the five minutes to actually order it there. Every time there's something different. This time it was unloaded with that spiciness, and I'm just – I'm struggling here, Adam. I don't have any milk in the house. I can't, like, do the milk thing. You know the milk thing where you kind of, Yeah, of like, course. Of course the milk. Water works. never helps. Water does nothing, I feel like. Water helps a little, but milk is where it's at. I'm, you know, you should have some milk in the house, but uh, that that's okay. No, remember, uh, I can't process dairy. Oh, that's right. That's right. I that's thought it. all of the us kind couldn't, but apparently you no, can. Just you, basically. <laughs> no, there's a um, lot of all right, if you have any questions, fire away. We can go over some of the headlines here and, and talk about some of the very interesting uh, matchups this week. Like the Cowboys, right? And Tony Pollard is not practicing. He has a thigh injury. I think he's expected to play. Um, but at this point, you know, you're talking about maybe the second best run defense in football in the uh, Tennessee Titans. And I don't know. I mean, if both running backs were playing, I. I think they'd be kind of must starts, but but a little nervous about it because it is a really really tough matchup. Uh, but if Pollard doesn't play, then I you know that makes things a lot easier. Yeah, uh, Derrick Henry did practice, so he said, "Whatever we do, I'll be ready." We just don't know what they're going to do. Antonio Gibson has a sprain; he may not play this week. Uh, Ron Rivera didn't say where the sprain is, but he has a sprain, and they're going to have to monitor that very closely this week. So, man, I'm going to really like Brian Robinson this week against the. Uh, against the Browns, no matter what. So anyway, uh, Dan, let's talk about the Cowboys running back situation here and okay. how much faith you have in them against the Titans who um, give up a ton of receiving production to running backs. But let me just get my um, let me just get my notes here. They are fourth best against running backs. They allow 3.5 yards per carry. In week one, Saquon Barkley ran for 164 yards. And I don't know if anyone's reached 70 yards since then. Um, but, uh, yeah, what do you think about the uh, the Cowboys running backs? Yeah, I liked it a lot better when I thought Tony Pollard was going to play. And I still think he might. He's probably trending toward playing. We don't know yet. But this is a matchup where you want to be looking for the receiving back out of the two. And that's Tony right. Pollard. Um, so we'll see what happens there. I don't think it's a great matchup. But I do think at the same time, the Cowboys have a renewed hope for the division. It's, it's still a long shot, but it's possible. So if he's you know, close to being good enough to go, I think Tony Pollard will still go. Yeah, let's go over some of the star running, like the must-start running backs against the Titans. Saquon Barkley in week right. one scored 31 points. Um, Josh Jacobs scored, I'm just going to round up and down. Josh Jacobs scored 15 points, PPR. Jonathan Taylor scored 5.3. Damian Pierce, 15. 15.5. They, uh no, sorry, Jonathan Taylor, 15.5 in the second meeting. Damian Pierce, 14. Aaron Jones, 12. Samaj P. Ryan, when he was filling in for Mixon, 19. Miles Sanders, 12. Travis Etienne, 3.2. Austin Eckler, 15. You know, you get a lot of 14-ish point games in there. You get some duds. You get a couple of studs. And that's basically where Zeke's been living. He's been around 15 to 17 points, right. and he's played every single week. So. Um, all right, let's. Uh, I think enough people are here right now. Um, we'll start with your questions here, and I've got a, a look at like, th take a look at Dan and tell me who you think he looks like. A very, very famous person, a, a wow. hero, honestly, of mine. Not a joke, a hero. I know a now, hero. you know who it is, right? He's what everyone, everyone's hero, everyone's hero. How, how could I not know this? And Thomas was able to just snap call it. It's the green shirt, it's the green, the camo green shirt. Um, he's got, you got all the other features. So, uh, see probably, from a, probably from a video a movie I've never seen. No, he's a real life person. He's the time man of the year. The time man of the year. I have no idea. All right. Let's see. Would you start Isaiah Hodgins or Brandon cooks over Chris Olave at wide receiver? 
Yeah, it's a really interesting spot with Hodgins, who's been building an incredible rapport with Daniel Jones. He's basically taken over as the number one receiver. He's getting the most volume there. Now, according to you know the stats and what Heath has broken down, the Colts are giving up a lot of points to receivers, but Adam kind of broke it down more individually on one of the other shows we had, I think the Monday show. And he was like, it's a lot based on kind of like a little bit of flukiness. So I'm not so sure this Colts? matchup is as good. Yeah, Colts pass. Oh, that defense. was the Bucks. That was the oh, Bucks. That was Bucks. Okay. The Colts. Colts have been awful since they lost okay. Kenny Moore. Okay. So they were really so good against that the Steelers. And then the Col- yeah, so Hodgins, it's a fine matchup. I'm going to go with Cooks um, go against the Jaguars. Uh, I'm not going to go. No way am I starting Olave if he even plays. Uh, Ramondre Stevenson against the Dolphins or Ken Walker against the Jets. I think it's a nice bounce back spot for Ramondre, to be honest. I love this yeah. spot, especially if Tua is is not playing, which I think at this point we have to think is likely, given it's his third concussion in a year, right? And if he's not playing, that flips the whole game script for this Dolphins Patriots matchup, and that gives the Patriots a chance of leading the entire way. And if they're leading the entire way, that's a great news. That's great news for Ramondre. So I'll go Ramondre there. I, I think I think the Dolphins are going to win. I think Bridgewater is going to be good. Really. I think Bridgewater is going to be wow. good. He, you know, he's a solid quarterback, and all you got to do is get the ball in the hands of those two guys and watch. Okay. Um, yeah, so somebody got the the lookalike here. What uh, is it? It is the Vladimir Zelensky. Here. You look just like who? Zelensky. The Ukrainian president. President. I have no idea who that even is. Vladimir Zelensky. What? Like, I know who he is, but I don't really know. Oh, come on, man. You look just like him, and he is the great. Can we get a picture of him? We can get a pic. I, turn turn on your TV, bro. He's on TV. Now let's He's get a picture here. up here. All right, all right. I'll get a picture. He's um, the guy who like went into battle or something, right? Like he went into the front line. Yeah, he does all that yeah, stuff. Good for him. Uh, hero, all right, here, I'll give you a picture here. of him addressing Congress. Okay. Okay. I I don't know. <laughs> I'll just you will just do the Google image page. I still think the Josh Allen comp was the best one. I'm gonna take that one and run with it. But just today, you got the same shirt that he always wears. You got the you got the beard. Oh. You got the same thing okay. here. Uh, all right, hold on. Let's see. Let's see if Dan agrees. We'll get to more of your questions in a minute. Um, boy, you got You got to catch up on your current events, bro. Uh yeah. Well, listen, it's football season. I don't have time to do much of anything but work. Look at that. So. What do you think? Yeah, I can definitely <laughs> see. <it. laughs> yep, absolutely. Okay, that's pretty um, great. Let's uh, let's see what other questions that we have here. Dan is the type of guy that likes ciabatta over bagels. I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> what Claude Quad? Have you not listened to a single show this year? I'm from Northern New Jersey. I lived in New York. We are the king capital of bagels. We made bagels. We own bagels. We've cornered the market on bagels. Don't you ever tell me I don't like bagels. Schaefer, please share that picture. I mean, this is unbelievable. That is pretty good. That's you pretty unbelievable. More like him. Holy cow. That's actually pretty incredible. That's Dan watching his fantasy teams on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> it's Amazing. pretty freaking good, Thomas. All right. Uh, start two and half PPR. We got Garrett Wilson and Ken Walker in the same game. Stefan Diggs against the Bengals. Um, okay. I'm definitely starting Diggs. I know he's been bad, but I'm definitely starting him. That's interesting. Walker versus Garrett Wilson. I think I'll go Walker. Yeah. I'm leaning Walker too, but I will say this: Garrett Wilson with Mike White is a, a phenom. I mean, I think he was averaging 19 points per game, but that yeah. was actually with Flacco or White. So, matchup, I'll, I'll lean, I'll lean Walker. I think too. Okay, I'm not benching bit Diggs. No. Yeah. Uh, Bam Knight, Jeff Wilson, or Zach Moss in PPR. So Bam Knight is at the Seahawks. Jeff Wilson Gross. is at the Patriots, and Zach Moss is at the Giants. Matchups are. Pretty- I mean, the Moss and Knight both have good matchups. They're matchups that I like, at least. But I'm going to go with Moss here. Better chance for volume. And the Giants' run defense has really been bad. All right. 2QB League, we play into Week 18. Would you drop Andy Dalton for Brock Purdy or Gardner Minshew? Yeah, Minshew for sure. Well, I mean, I would say Minshew, but he's playing into Week 18. I don't know. What do you need Dalton for? Well, you don't need Dalton. No, it's it's you definitely drop Dalton, but do you do it for Purdy or Minshew? Because we don't even know if Minshew's oh. going to play this week. Yeah, so that's fair. I do think Purdy. I do think Minshew's going to play in Week 18, though. <laughs> that's my guess. Right. So the Eagles win this week. They don't need to play in Week 18. Purdy, right. on the other hand, they will almost certainly have the two or the three seed to play for in Week 18, unless they lose this week and the Vikings win. I think. 
Um, I would I would drop him for Purdy because I don't think you're getting you may not get you may get zero games from Minshew and you may get one. I don't think you're getting two though. Yeah, I think that's the move. Okay, um, so let's take a look at this poll here. Uh, you're gonna, I'm sure you're gonna have. A Thomas take. hasn't had a good poll in like weeks, so I hope this I is pretty agree. good. I don't agree with that. No, no. Let's be honest, Adam. You've been crapping on him live, so don't try. To I, I, well, this is a terrible. I mean, it's a good topic, but again, the choices are just off. He never favorite, gets the choices right. Oh, well, he did say box. So favorite movie theater box candy: Junior okay. Mints, Sour Patch Kids, Raisinets, or Bunch of Crunch. No, he did a good job of this. That's like all the box can. That's like the big four right there. He did a That's good job. That's all I needed. That's all I needed yeah. from Dan. I was just saying, I, I, I'll, just, I'll say this. I wish you put on Swedish Fish, which is like one of my favorite candies in the world. But it's similar to the Sour Patch. So I'm going to go with Sour Patch here. I think it's a clear-cut winner. But having said that, um, Bunch of Crunch is underrated. And it's not – people don't know about it. People don't eat it much anymore. It's like an old-school candy. But ne never a Raisinette. I'm not a Raisinette guy. I, I love Raisinettes. I voted for Raisinettes. You I knew would it. like Raisinettes. Yeah, I love them. I could them. predict one thing would be that Adam Azer is a Raisinette guy. <laughs> I know? put that in there for Adam. Yeah. yeah I, you I, knew, he, you knew it was going to appeal to him. It's in last place. And obviously, Sour Patch Kids is running away. You know, the, the original box candy to me at movie theaters and only at movie – I don't know if I've ever seen it anywhere but movie theaters is no Snow Cat. Snow oh, caps. snow caps, yeah. Snow caps. Who would? But they, it, it was the only reason you only ever saw it in movie theaters because nobody bought it elsewhere. Yeah, no, I don't they're not. If anyone bought it in movie theaters, they're terrible. <laughs> the, the only beef like I have with crappy the dark patch, chocolate. The only beef I have with the salt, sour patch kids is if you eat too much of them, like your yes. taste buds get that like inflamed thing or whatever on them. So, <laughs> yep. You've so never weird. had that, Adam? No. I don't um, think so. You've never eaten enough Sour Patch Kids. Yeah, I, I don't know if you've ever eaten Sour Patch. You've never had <laughs> I that. love Sour Patch Kids. All right. Is Derek, do we think Derrick Henry is playing this week? And any worry yes. about the Jags guys? I think Derrick Henry is going to play this week. But it's it's interesting because we went over this on Monday's show. What, how the scenarios played out, there's literally nothing to play for this week for Tennessee or Jacksonville. So right. I don't know. I I. I would lean toward him playing just because I don't think he's really hurt. But if he is, he's probably not going to play. It's just we need to wait for more, uh, you know, more details from the injury reports. Give me a final score prediction for that game. Oh, <laughs> Dallas by how many? Uh, forty-four. <laughs> not kidding. Dallas okay. is this is the mo for the Dallas Cowboys this year, right? They blow out the bad teams. And they don't do pretty. They don't do much against the good team, except for last week when they finally beat Philly. Okay, so um, over the last four seasons, including this one, Derrick okay. Henry has been in eleven games in which the Titans have lost by ten or more points. In those eleven games, he has scored more than twelve PPR fantasy points only four times. Uh, he has actually been pretty bad when they get blown out. Case in point, the Eagles. Yeah, uh, earlier this, just a few weeks ago, he was terrible. Um, in fact, I think there was another game in there. Uh, but anyway, if you're looking for a reason, if you're looking for, if you're nervous about Derrick Henry, you think maybe he won't play the full game or something like that. I just gave you your, your justification for sitting him, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, worried a little bit about the Jaguars. Um, not that much though. Not unless someone's banged up. I think they go out and play and I think they're going to want to be sharp going into their last game against the uh, Titans. There's also a small chance that these teams could get a wild card spot, but it is pretty small. All right, pick a quarterback. Oh, no, pick, sorry, Q1, not QB1. Pick two of this group, Zeke, Ramondre, and Tyler Algier. I'll roll with Ramondre and Zeke. Yeah, same. If Pollard plays, I might go, nah, I'd probably still go Zeke. Because I'll go on Zeke. I, my prediction for Zeke is he has a bad rushing average. He doesn't run for a lot of yards, but he scores, he scores. a touchdown. Yeah, I completely agree. There's too much touchdown potential to bench him. Way yeah, they're averaging 34 points per game just on offense, not even their defensive touchdowns. Right. Since Dak Prescott came back. Excuse me. Pick a wide receiver and a flex. Waddle at New England. Devontae Smith against the Saints. McLaurin against the Browns. DJ Moore against the Bucks, uh, And A.J. Dillon against the Vikings. So pick a wow. two of them. Both PPR. So I'm going to rule out Dillon immediately. Um, this is tough. I don't really love any of these matchups. They're all tough matchups, right? I'm going to go. I think I'm just going to go with Waddle and Smith. I think I'm going to go with Waddle and DJ Moore. Okay. 
Yeah, I like um, the, I like the numbers with more with Darnold. Alvin Kamara at the Eagles or Cam Akers. I don't remember if it's a home or away. I think it's at the Chargers, but it's the same stadium. So <laughs> Alvin Kamara or Cam Akers in PPR. Acres. <sighs> wow. I, I think just, I'm going to go Camara. Yeah. I'm going to go Camara. I don't. I the look at Camara. I want Jordan Davis. What? Oh, well, that helps. That will definitely help. But I don't know. I looked at Camara today because he's in a open and available in a, in a guillotine league that I play in. And I was thinking about putting a bid in on him, and I was just like, Man, he only like that was such a perfect matchup for him that Browns game. Browns horrible run defense, the weather forcing the run. But if you look at all of his other games, he really has disappointed so often this year. Yeah, and I do, I do worry. You know what? I do worry about them getting blown out because right when they're, getting, when they're losing, it's you know it's not good for him. It should be, but it's not for some reason. Yeah, it's twelve or right, right, because he's not getting a lot of catches. All right, so he here's should. the other thing though. Are you telling me, Cowboys Choke 09, that you're starting Aaron Jones and Rashad White? Because I don't think I'd start either of them. You know, maybe Jones. Yeah, I think I go, you're right. I'd go Kamara and Akers over those two. Right. Like, we got to see what Jones' health is, but uh, he scares the heck no, out of me. He's banged up. Yeah. All right. Miles Sanders against the Saints or A.J. Dillon? Not great on either front, but if Aaron Jones doesn't play, A.J. Dillon's the easy pick here, I think. Um, yeah. Other oh, than yeah. That, yeah. Other than that, I don't love Sanders against the I'm Saints. Gonna go Sanders. I'd the Saints Sanders have a terrible run Jones defense this year. Terrible. I know, but I just think that matchup is – we'll see what happens, but I don't feel like there's going to be a lot of running for the Eagles. I don't know why. I just feel like they're going to throw it around that game. It's a weird so. feel. It's a gut well, feel. It's a gut feel. Yeah, I don't know. I don't it depends know. a lot on if, if Minshew plays or not. Uh, Let's see. Uh, With Minshew in, they're very pass-heavy. But anyway, go on. Yeah. All right. A wide receiver and a flex. I'm just going to go with the first two here. Judy and Godwin. Well, if it's it's half Judy. people, Judy for sure. Judy's at the Lock Chiefs. Judy in. Yeah. So Godwin Swift has who? Godwin has the Panthers. Wilson's at Ugh. the Seahawks. Swift gets the Bears. Judy Wilson well, for me. We don't know if Jamal Williams is playing, so we got to keep that Ju- in mind. But Judy, Judy Wilson for me. For sure. Judy Godwin like, for me. I like Wilson this week. Mike White's back. The matchup's great. Seahawks have been not falling great, though. The Seahawks are the third best against wide receivers. Yeah, but they have you watched them lately? They have not looked yes, good recently. They, well, Tariq Woolen's great, right? We they have one up. lockdown corner for sure. Garrett Wilson lines up about 60% of the time on Woolen's side. Woolen never on the moved. X, yeah. On the left okay. side. Let me take it back. No, no, don't take it back. I'm, I, I mean, it's not, it's not like if it were full PPR, it would be easy between Godwin and Wilson. I yeah. go Godwin. Half PPR. It's a toss. It's a toss up. And if you know, if Jamal Williams doesn't play, then Swift becomes a lot more interesting too. So we we'll have to check right. back on this one later in the week. But Judy is your one of your guys. Uh, yeah. Dak Prescott at Tennessee or Jared Goff against the Bears. Dak for sure. Oh, I do like Goff this week too. But I'm gonna go Dak. Yeah, I go Dak too. Goff oh. at home against the Bears. I love the Lions minus five in that game. I don't know about you, but uh, that'll be one I place a little wager on. Yeah, I could see that for sure. I think this is talking to you, bro. You were saying how you don't cut sandwiches diagonally because you like a great ciabatta. No, I, I don't know if I said that. I don't know. I don't think I said it. when we asked about do you cut how you cut the sandwiches. I remember saying I don't really make sandwiches. I'm not a sandwich guy. I never was. Never will be. I'll buy them. I'll go to a nice deli and get a good, you know, prosciutto, mozzarella, <laughs> sharp provolone, and Italian yeah. bread. <laughs> little super yeah. sad, little little you know red peppers, but I'm not gonna like be at home with white bread making my cold cut turkey and crap. Like I find I've always found that kind of nasty. Also very bad for you too the cold cuts. You got to limit your no surprisingly cuts. bad for you, which sucks because my dad and mom eat it like every day for lunch, and I've been trying to tell them it's not good for you, and they like think it's good for them because it's like it's just turkey, and and I'm using like but why is it so bad because of like nitrates or something? Oh, right? Yeah, yeah. Even even the yeah. ones that don't have added nitrates, people, you really should limit your cold cuts, limit your processed foods. This is someone who ate ham all weekend. I had hot dogs for dinner tonight, <laughs> but you should limit your processed food. You really should. <laughs> I got um, I got to figure that out. All right, Devon. No, it's a shame because it's the easiest thing to eat for lunch. It's the, it's the layup. Make a, a cold cut sandwich, but it's tough. Uh, Devonte Smith, DeAndre Hopkins, Chark, and Dobbs. We need two. 
Oh, Smith, I think Hopkins, Chark, and Dubs, Dob, Dubs. Yeah, let's not overthink it here. Let's just start Smith at Hopkins, right? Uh, are we assuming that McCoy's back? I'm assuming McCoy is back. Yeah. Okay. If McCoy is back, we can start Hopkins. If McCoy is not back, I am not starting DeAndre. Oh, we, oh I mean, that's fine. But are you going to start DJ Chark or Romeo Dobbs over him? I'll start DJ Chark for sure. Okay. And I'll be happy about it. DeAndre Hopkins with McSorley is a is a must sit for me. Um, uh, everybody likes Thomas. Thomas from brother, you can come on whenever you want. Thomas should be on the whole <laughs> show. Let's go, Thomas. Here's the Good thing, guy you know, that Thomas. You don't you don't know much about him because he's in the shadows. He right. comes up. Well, you probably like you probably like Dan at the start, but I've cut him down to size so much over the yeah. last few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do the same to Schaefer. Uh, Zach or Burrow. Burrow gets the Bills Monday night. Dak matchups too good. And that's crazy. You're going with matchups. You're, you're benching Burrow is an insanity, insane thing to do right now. But I'm gonna I'll go, go Dak. I go Burrow. Yeah. Uh, I think it'll be close. Though. I think they're both going to score a lot. Michael says you only get bunch of crunch at movies. All right. Correct. Bunch of crunch. Nestle's crunch. Like yeah. a little. Okay. Okay. Like bunches of it. Yeah, that's not. And, for and then you drop it in like the warm popcorn, and it melts with the popcorn. Ooh, I've oh, never done idea. that. That's a great move. What's the last movie it. you guys saw in theater? Theaters. Oh, oh man. Honestly, it may have been the last Spider Man, but oh. I don't know what came out. Spider Man or that dog movie? I don't know if you saw it with Channing Tatum. <laughs> oh <my laughs> with Channing God. You Tatum. Watched that dog movie? You went to see that dog? That had to be with your girlfriend. There's no way. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's actually funny. It's actually I like. I is went it? into it with very, very, very low expectations. I'm like, this is gonna be a disaster, and I, I like. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. All right, I'll take your word for it, Tom. So I don't know your word check it out. Check it out. I'm, I'm I, swear, know, man. It's well, I won't be checking it out, but I'll still believe that you enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, it is. All right, Dan, when, when you get a date, you know, you can bring yeah, it exactly. Out. Exactly. <laughs> Bang. Boom roasted. <laughs> That's great. Uh the question was Everett. I there I'm not starting Everett like ever again. No. Um Everett or Jawan. Well, maybe over. Nah, I think Jawan Johnson. And um, Montgomery or Dotson. So I haven't Montgomery. dug into Montgomery yet. I'm leaning Montgomery. Uh, yeah, I would go Montgomery over Dotson, just based on the matchup there. Eh, I, well, I still great. believe it's a tough matchup, even though last week yeah, it was. Even after last week. So eh, I still think Montgomery has a better chance for volume. This is a good question here. Yeah, it's Schaefer, why not well, peanut MMs? That is a peanut movie. MMs are amazing. They might be the most snackable and addicting candy in the market. Yeah, why well, there it's it's tough to only pick four. I wish I had like six options, but I, I figured like, you know, the M&Ms are kind of very generic that, you know, they probably would have won on a landslide. So I kind of wanted to make it even. I didn't know. I didn't know Sour Patch Kids were going to do so well. Right, so, because... so get a new poll up there. Sour Patch Kids and peanut M&Ms. Okay. Uh, throw, it, throw it Swedish fish. Swedish fish. Are okay. I, I just fish. can't believe this. This. Uh, Sour Patch Kids are running away with it because you can't eat that many of them without getting the thing on your tongue. I don't know. That's, weird. that's, a, movie that, theater, that's a you thing. That's a you thing. Is this like when Adam was allergic to uh, Carmel and he would and he would Carmel. pretend like you, See, you I say I say the same. You know thing. how I said it, Carmel, and I'm going to continue to say Carmel. it that way. And I actually saw a graph and a chart that shows like some people in the country say it my way. So that was very reassuring when I saw that on Twitter. I was like, oh, okay, good. I'm not the only one. And I knew I wasn't the only one. Adam kind of tried to paint me in that corner, but it was never true. <laughs> but but you're, anyway, Adam, you're this is like the time when he was allergic to Carmel and he was just trying to be like, no, I'm not allergic to it. I just, I sometimes bad things happen. And the roof no, of my it, mouth it burns my throat. It burns yeah, my throat. <laughs> I burn my throat. I'll yeah. just eat through it. I'll just eat my way through it. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the questions here. Um, let's see. Dollar Tree stock stock is up. I think we're talking about all those candies. Top Gun was the last movie you saw. The last movie I saw, I can't remember if it was Uncut Gems or that or the oh. Ghostbusters with all the with all the female leads. It was one of those okay. two. It's been a while. For me, it was a Marvel movie. I'm not, I'm trying to remember which one. I don't think it was the Spider Man. I think it yeah. was. I don't know which one it was. Well, they're all the same, so I understand. They're why. not all the same, Adam. <laughs> Who are you starting here? Um, Singletary, ooh. Corey Davis, Richie James, and Justin Jackson. If Jamal's hurt, oh boy, <laughs> wow. Um, I think it's it's not Corey Davis. Yeah, rule Richie, him out immediately. 
would be my answer in full PPR. Half PPR. Who was it? In full PPR would be Richie James. I think that's fair in full. I think it was singles, Harry. I just hope he finds the end zone somehow. I'm like considering Justin Jackson just because the matchup is so freaking good. The Bears run defense is a joke right now. Their defense in general is a joke right now. Um, if Jamal doesn't play, I like the Hail Mary of Justin Jackson. Kind of. Okay. Um, Zach asks Cam Akers. Akers. I don't know about that, man. I mean, I know what Algier has done over the last two weeks from a volume standpoint, but so has Akers, right? Yes. I I think Akers is safer. Yeah. Pick one, Darius Slayton against the Colts, Zach Moss in that same game, or Mike Evans against the Panthers. PPR, full PPR. So I was leaning Moss. Now I won't go Moss. I'll go Darius Slayton. Yeah, I'm going to go Slayton too. What a as sad Dan, state of affairs. As damn it working out, look at those guns. Thank you for noticing, Shadow Play. I have been working out a little bit. I finally got to the gym. It only took a full season of NFL to finally be like, all right, I'll get there. A um, couple weeks in right now, same regimen as always, and building back the muscle fast. So thank you for noticing. There you go. Um, let's see. Garrett Wilson or Chris Godwin in full PPR? Yeah, we had this similar question earlier as part of like a two, three flex thing. So let's go. I'm sticking. I'm I'm sticking with Wilson. Adams on Godwin. So you got to choose between Adam and I on that one. Yeah, I'm on Godwin. I mean, Godwin in full PPR. He he catches six passes every week, basically five, six passes or more. Um, more. Yeah. Where's the poll, Schaefer? Can we get the like sour patch? Yeah, okay, let's get that up there. I'm curious to see what happens. Mike Williams against the Rams. Christian Kirk. Oh, gosh. Why am I forgetting their matchup? Jacksonville is at Houston. Um, Jerry Judy at the Chiefs. DJ Chark against the Bears. We only need one of this. I am leaning. It's either Judy or Mike Williams for me. Um, Judy. I'll go Judy. Zay Jones or Jahan Dotson? Zay Jones, man, he just lost me one of my. He lost me my main home league last week with that one point sixer. Uh, that was brutal. Yeah, um, me too. yeah, just brutal. I mean, he had been coming on so strong. I don't really know what happened. It was a weird, cold, wet game, nineteen to three. This game proposes to be better in the sense that it's in a dome, but Houston is surprisingly good against the pass, and Jacksonville isn't playing for anything. So, I think I'm going to go Dotson. Yeah, I think that's totally, totally fair. Uh, Drake London or Tyler Algier in PPR London, man. He is getting so many targets with Desmond Ritter. I was waiting for this all season long. It came too late though. I'm going to go London. I love the volume since Drake London's been, or I'm sorry, since Desmond Ritter has been put into the lineup. Mike Evans will hit this week. Why Mel? Why? Why? I just don't, there's no reason what to think that at this point. Yeah. I mean, I guess if there is a reason it's that now they're, Panthers have been without their top cornerback for four games, and now they're without right. their other top cornerback, so their secondary should be pretty gross. But it just doesn't matter. I mean, he's just bad every week, basically. He every week. To go, but. And some for some odd reason, despite now the fact that they've played, like, I don't know, f- almost 50 games together, the yeah. rapport with Brady and Evans is off, which is just odd and weird. Yeah, no, it's bad. Um all right, championship, full PPR. Oh, we don't like cap. We don't like caps. No caps. Uh, Stevenson, Fournette, Swift, or Akers, and then Fryermuth or Higby. Okay, Stevenson, Fournette, Swift, Akers. That's tough, especially full PPR. <sighs> I think I'm going to lean Fournette in full PPR. No? Nine catches um, last week. No, I, I mean that it's going to be him or for, or Stevenson. Yes. I was one of the two. I think Stevenson is going to have a massive week, but I just think in full PPR for Nets floor is so high. I mean, it kind of is, but also that, you know, two nights ago, he scored 25 points, something like that. Nine catches. Yeah. But previously he had been usually around 10, 11 points, even with, you know, usually four catches. True. Four catches. Because he's so bad running the football. But over the last two weeks, there he's gotten more snaps than he had. Like they, yeah. White had cut into that share for a while, and then over the last two weeks, they leaned back on Fournette. That's what I like. Oh boy. Okay, I can buy it. I mean, 
Stevenson's got four catches, I think, in his last two games, maybe three catches in his yeah. last two games. So great. I'll buy it. And, and the Dolphins have a terrific run defense, too. How about Zonovan Knight, Tyler Algier, Fournette? We need two of them. I'm just Knight. done with Zonovan Knight. <laughs> yeah, the matchup's great, but I kind of agree with that. I'm going to go Fournette and, and Algier as well. Yeah. All right, I have Henry and Ethan. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Henry and Etienne uh, putting waivers for Algier and Hasty. Would you start that? Um... I think that's James yeah. Cook. Oh, James Cook. All right. So, you know what? I can't answer a Derrick Henry question right now. We got to see yeah, what's up. Need... I completely agree. Yeah, we got to see what's going on there. Geno Smith or Mike White for the championship. Same game. Geno or Mike White. I'm going Mike White here. Better matchup. All right, let's vote on the new poll. We've whittled down the we've gotten rid of the losers. Which candy are you choosing at the movies? Sour Patch Kids, Peanut M and M's, or Sweetest Fish? Uh, peanut M and M's off to an early lead, fifty five percent. Sour Patch so Kids, good. They're so Sour good. Patch Kids at thirty five percent, and oh, please put in Swedish Fish nine percent. I so, knew it would get a low percentage. It doesn't matter. They're unbelievable. And they don't burn the <laughs> roof of your mouth. I guess that they're just, they're all the same. You know, there's no variety. They're just all the same. Like, same usually, like, M&Ms. A yeah, gummy, they're all phenomenal. Swedish fish are amazing. So usually, good. Uh, a gummy candy, I feel like you get some variety in the pack. You don't need it with Swedish right. fish. It's that yeah, good. Yeah, but they're all red. They're all good. You're yeah. not throwing They're all the, the good red, red flavor. Exactly. I will they're say this about good. Swedish fish, though. This is Throw very rating. important. They have different kinds that they put on the market. They have the big ones. And they have the little guys. The little guys are somehow so much better than the big guys. You know what I'm talking about, Thomas? Yeah, like, I know exactly. The big ones, they like suck. Something yeah, went yeah, off yeah. On I don't it's know what it is, better. but those little sweet fish. I can't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, you've already just took 15 seconds to, to dismiss Swedish fish, so I'm not going to come to you after that. Have you had? <laughs> have, have you had them or no? Easy. Yeah, have you even eaten them? Oh yeah, yeah. I just I think I've only had the little ones. I guess I'm not really quite sure if I've had the big ones, but. <laughs> I like I like Swedish fish. They're good. They're just they're not peanut M and M's. But nah, milk yeah. duds. Get the hell out of here with milk duds. No, he's right. I mean, look, Jesse, you're right. Milk duds are great. They ruin your teeth, but they're great to size. Cut. They're terrible. They're, they're, I, they're I like, loved milk duds as a kid, so but as you get older, you get like you know fillings in your teeth. And right. You can eat them. You can't do it. <laughs> no, you can't really do it. You need you need to immediately have one of those like uh, floss picks. <laughs> Lazard or Zonovan Knight, non PPR. Lazard. We're done with Knight here. This is a show that's done with Zonovan Knight. Yeah, I guess so, but. And I, I love it. And Zonovan I mean, Knight's match was better. If Watson doesn't play, then it's easy, Lazard. Yeah. I just think uh, they're going to pass a lot on that defense. A lot. I think you're going to see a, a vintage Aaron Rodgers 300 plus. 300? No way. Daniel Jones just threw for 334 against that defense. He hasn't thrown for 300 all year. Who, Daniel Jones? No, Aaron Rodgers. Daniel Jones hadn't thrown for 300 all year besides the garbage time Detroit Lions game. Uh, he didn't play in the garbage time. Did he play in the garbage time? Oh, yes, he did, right? It was, what do you mean? Oh, it was the Philly game. He didn't play in the garbage time. Yeah, so it was. if Jones can do it, I think Aaron Rodgers might be. All right, well, Rodgers threw for 291 yards against Detroit, so... Maybe he can reach 300 against the Vikings. What did he do in the first game against the Vikings? 195 yards in week one. I know. That was a weird, bad game. Eat uh, Eagle. I'm going to stick with the Eagles. Yes, me too. They're still playing for something. Uh, Ooh, the Wild Giants Wild. is an interesting one, though. Giants at home against Foles. Dan, I think we should go to the game. What if I go to the game and I watch Red Zone on my phone the entire time? Is that okay? Like, Are people going to be mad at me for that? Well, this is a question you should have definitely asked off air first. To be completely honest, but I'd like to know if the audience feels like in week 16, I need my to My whole be- thing is now we have game pass. We have true, we have true media. We can rewatch all the games condensed version after the fact, right? Like that I night, can't do so. that before my show on Sunday night. You can I do it. go to the game, miss yeah. all the one o'clock, but I right. watch on my phone and then drive home, miss whatever, you know, of the four o'clock and then pick it yeah. up. It's not great. It's not great. Uh, Waddle acres, Dobbins PPR. Waddle, Acres, Dobbins, PPR, full Waddle. Well, I'm going Waddle. Yeah. Um, Swedish Fish or Red Licorice Nibs? <laughs> Swedish no, fish. no, no. Red Licorice Nibs, no, Kim. I'm sorry, Kim. 
And that's, I know what you're talking about. They're decent. They're not terrible. Licorice in general is pretty underrated to begin with, but no, not over Swedish fish. Not really nothing over Swedish fish for me. As far as the uh, gummy category goes. In the gummy category. Ramondre Swift, Ken Walker, or DeAndre Hopkins, PPR. Ramondre, Ramondre. Ramondre Stevenson. I don't know who Ramondre Swift is. Ramondre, Ramondre Swift. That's a cool name, but I don't think that's an actual player. We'll go with Ramondre Stevenson. I'm going to go Hopkins if McCoy plays. Fine. I take that back if McCoy plays, but we'll see what happens on that front. Um, Cookie dough bites. Those are. Oh, those are great. I know exactly what you're talking about. Have you had those, Adam? Yeah. I bet only, not. Those are only sold in movie theaters, I feel like. Is Cam Akers for real? Would you play him over Garrett Wilson in standard scoring? In standard, I'm not sure yes. if Cam Akers is for real yet. Mm. I, I just don't know. I, I mean, I think it's not. Yeah. I thought he looked pretty good. I don't know. He did. Finally, he's had a pretty uninspiring career. Yeah. I think, um, I think, okay, look, the Rams just trounced the Broncos. You cannot forget right. about the first 14 games of their season. They're still one of the worst offensive lines. One right. of the one of the worst offenses. They are. I don't mm -hmm. think Baker Mayfield is anything. I think that the the Broncos played one of the worst games that any team has played this season. And I think people are going to overrate the the Rams going into a game against the Chargers. I know the Chargers have a really bad run defense, but they're actually right. playing pretty well defensively lately. Um, like Tyler Higby. I mean, is there what is the difference? between Cole Komet five weeks ago and Tyler Higby right now. Remember this stretch for Cole Komet? 11 yards and a touchdown, then 41 yards and two touchdowns, 74 yards and two touchdowns. You know what he's done since then? He's done bupkis. He's been right. terrible in four or five games. If you want to put your fantasy season in Tyler Higby's hands, go for it. You want to put your fantasy season in, in Cam Akers' hands, at least he has a great matchup. But I, he, he still is a completely unexplosive guy, and he has been for almost all of his career. Um, and he's had a very lackluster season. So I think he's I think he's a flex. I think maybe he's a number two running back. Uh, he's not a must start to me. Um, and would I play him over Garrett Wilson? Yes, in standard scoring, only because Garrett Wilson never scores. The Jets rarely throw touchdowns. I am a little worried about Mike White. Like, let me tell you this, Dan. Um, how would you feel about a quarterback who has no pedigree? who's you know, basically a third stringer. And in his last mm -hmm. two games, he completed 54% and 61% of his passes, and he averaged 6.5 and 6.1 yards per attempt. Like, it's not nobody, great. nobody would ever, ever yeah. like it. And that's Mike White in his last two games at Minnesota and at Buffalo. And yet somehow he's better than Zach Wilson. Because Yeah, but he throws all the time. He threw 57 and 44 yeah. passes in that game. Right. If he throws that many, then sure, Wilson should probably be good. But right. uh, I would start Acres over Wilson in standard. But is Acres for real? I'm certainly not convinced. Fair. Long-winded way of saying that. Uh, Cousins at the Packers or Prescott? Hmm. Yeah, this is a Dak. This is Dak for me. Um, <sighs> Dak. Both matchups I like though. I think both are good plays. I'm going to lean Dak. Yeah, I just let me check the weather here for uh, a little ten day. On Saturday, let's. I need a. I need more than that. Come on, weather.com. All right, we get to ten day on Green Bay. See what Kirk Cousins is going to be dealing with. You know those uh, December games in Lambeau are not fun. Not great, Bob. Um, is that is that the first? No, it's a January game, huh? Twenty It'll degrees. January. Twenty degrees and with some precipitation. Not. Oh wait, 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 no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. 36 degrees with a 20% chance of precipitation. Not bad. I'll just take Dak. Same. All right. Um, Evan Ingram against Houston or Dallas Goddard against the Saints? And then Evan Miles Ingram. Had, I have so a I'll similar go. decision, and I'm all locked in on Evan Ingram. Love what I've seen from him lately. All right. Miles Sanders, Rashad White, Chuba Hubbard. Wow. I really kind of want to go Chuba, but... I'll take the safe play with Sanders. I'm ready for Miles Sanders to have a good game. It's been a little while, I think. He's, he's not entirely, but he's been a little cold lately. Yeah. Uh, Mike Evans, sure. Deontay Johnson, Marquise Brown, Christian Watson. What do you got here? Ugh. Watson for sure if he plays. If it's one player, I'll go Watson for sure if he plays. Yeah. Agreed. And if not? And if not? I'll go Evans. 
Evans. That's not pretty, but Evans. Sneak your preferred candy. That's yeah. I, I agree. I mean, the, the prices that they charge at the movie theaters yeah. are so egregious that I just have no problem sneaking candy. I have no problem sneaking in food to a movie theater either. Yeah. I actually don't think they even care anymore. I don't think that those are good movie theater candies, though, personally. Mini Kit Kats, Milky Way. Nah, those are pretty generic candies in general. I mean, they're good. Yeah. Like Kit Kat's pretty solid. Milky Way is good. I don't I I don't want to spend too much time talking because remember we had the sponsor once the candy that i kind of messed around with and I, it's one of those candies i don't like and just just in case we go back to them as a sponsor uh i'm gonna come off this this, this okay uh, this, i'll come off this okay okay defense wins championships patriots against the dolphins or would you rather have the jaguars against the texans or the giants against the colts giants against the colts we're gonna get uh ojalari or leonard williams this week dan leonard williams is likely he came back into the game and played through the injury. Ojolari said he just had like a basketball ankle injury, which, you know, for in general, like you've, you've played pickup before. Like when you have that little sprain, um, it's pretty easy to come back in on, off of it. It's just a basketball sprain, but I don't know, man, his season's been really weird. He's been injured out for longer than expected twice. So I would guess no. Ojolari. Yeah. Well, that's interesting because the Giants have something like 16 sacks in their last four games. I know. So really Ojolari has so many snacks per game played. Yeah, sacks he's very game. he's an important player for this question, you know, starting the Giants defense. Agreed. But the Colts give up so many, the most fantasy points to the DST. So and I, yeah, it's Nick right. Foles. Yeah, you were right about that. I, I thought he'd be good. You were right. Just the lack of reps you could see. Yep. Yeah. Zach Moss or a questionable Aaron Jones? Uh, Moss. I'm still Jones for me. Okay. Um, yeah, there's just not enough, not enough work, I guess, for Moss. I don't know. I, I don't know what the hell they're doing. Uh, I drafted Kamara in round one and Sutton in round three. How am I in the championship game? Um, start Waller, Muth. Oh, geez, Jacob. Wow. Bring in the, bring in the misery here. Should I start Darren Waller, Pat Fryermuth, or Cole Komet? Waller, Muth, or Komet. I'll go Muth. Yeah, I have an issue with Waller because he's playing about 40 to 50% of the right. snap. So it's just really hard. I, I don't know if that's going to go up. I'm going to start Fryermuth over him just because of the snaps. Okay. Um, let's see. This is a good question. I mean, I'd rather have Twizzlers than Sweet as Fish. Twizzlers are amazing, but still, Swedish fish are unbelievably better. <laughs> Junior mints, they're chug they are refreshing. They are refreshing. Isn't that from Seinfeld? Oh, probably. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is. Yeah, that's where he gets Perfect. Kramer gets one in the guy's like open body or something, right? Yeah, during the the yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And yes, that is cheese the cat. There's cheese. Hey, cheese. We're a big family here on Tuesday nights. Singletary or uh, Drake London in the flex, half PPR? London. Love the volume L lately with Ritter in. Feel Can you – um, yeah. oh, wait. Look, what is this quote? I didn't see this. What? When asked why he's losing out on third down snaps this season, er Alvin Kamara said, I don't know. you got to ask someone else. Yeah. Uh, Not great. Yeah, it's a good question. <laughs> uh, boy, how about that hit on uh, – how about that Derwin James hit last night? Oh, yeah. That was really, rough. Really was. I yeah. felt like he did that in part because, like, two plays earlier, he had that play where they gave him the flag when he, like, kind of face masked the guy but didn't really. It looked like the guy's just helmet was, like, already coming off and he just kind of touched around it. I feel like that pissed him off a little bit, and then he came in really heavy on that hit. Oh, well, man. You see this the play in between that. Pittman got a clean block on him. Oh, maybe it was that. And That's then, probably what it was. And then that was that you know, set him was, off. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Oh wow. No, I didn't uh I didn't did see that either. Yeah. yeah, it was those are the type like 10 years or 20 years ago, I would have seen that hit and be like, oh yeah. But now it now that you know nah. all everything about concussions, you're like, oh, that's painful to watch. Well, 10 years ago they used to advertise those hits. Right, exactly. Yeah. DJ Moore, Jerry Judy, or Watson. We need two here in full PPR. More Judy Watson, Judy and Watson. If you play, there you go. Good answer. Good, good answer. Yeah. Good answer. Family Feud. Hassan Haskins or Rashad. Never White. watched Family Feud. 
You've never watched Family Feud? Do you own I've a I've seen TV? it a couple times, but not full episodes. It's so fun. You know what I was a fan of, by the way? What, right? what, what's your take, Thomas? No, I've never seen it either. Oh, oh okay. really? The two of you have a lot in common, I'm noticing today. <laughs> yeah, we're, the same, we're around the same age, so, you know. We are. I guess so, but it's Family Feud is, is, you know, it's always on. All right, can you answer this question real quick, though? Hassan Haskins, assuming Henry doesn't play, or Rashad White in non-PPR? Uh, Haskins. If Henry doesn't play, okay. What, what were you gonna I'll say? I'll say this though. You know, I used a show I used to watch a ton on Game Show Network when I was a kid is Lingo. Do you remember Lingo? No. Oh, is so that anyone the in the? Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. You go. Well, anyone in the chat who remembers it, I really recently realized this because they're bringing back Lingo. They're remaking it. I just learned this. You know, you know, like a few, like a year and a half ago when Wordle was the craze and everybody was doing the Wordle every day. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's literally a clone copycat of lingo it's the exact wow. game that lingo is they literally just copied lingo it was an incredible realization that i came to i'm just like are you kidding me yeah and you're right how about that it's the exact game so they really should have trademarked it or something i don't know um <laughs> yeah, game, yeah, the yeah they, where i was really into wordle i was yeah, doing same. i was doing the quartal were was, you on the, were you on the group chats where you would send it to people no, no. Uh, that's when you get really into it. I was on a group chat with family. We're like, here's our Wordle for the day. Here I got four of six. <laughs> well, I just did that with my wife. We competed every night, basically. And who she won would, that? For the she would part. usually win because she had a better starting word because than I did. She's smarter than you. Yeah. She had a better starting <laughs> word than I did. I was just trying to trap you there. No, she is. She married me, so how smart <laughs> could <could she> be? <laughs> you married a fantasy football analyst. <laughs> there you go. You live in New York. Bunch of finance. <laughs> around here you the heat bit. doesn't work the ac doesn't work <laughs> i cannot even literally i can't even put a roof over your head <laughs> the roof is uh, caving in jaguars against the texans or chargers against the rams chargers okay i would not play the jacks in that in a game they don't have to play for dak prescott or patrick mahomes wow I'm not no. benching Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, Mahomes, Mahomes. Even in the match, even though the match was better for Dak. Goff, Lamar, or Rodgers? I'm on Goff here. Yeah. Though I like Rodgers, but Goff. PPR, J.K. Dobbins or Cam Akers? Akers. Yeah, like that's, match fine. Dobbins. that's fine. The Steelers, yeah. I don't think I've ever had a Charleston Chew. Oh, my God. God, Charleston Chew is one of the most underrated candies in the game, Kim. Thank you for reminding me of it. You've <laughs> never had a Charleston Chew? I'm looking it up now. Let me see. It's so freaking it? good. It's chocolate and marshmallow. It. Oh, yeah. These are good. And and the best thing you could do with a Charleston Chew, which I'm sure Kim knows about, is you freeze it. They're so good frozen. Have you ever had a peanut chew? No. What is that? They're dark chocolate. My my great aunt used to give them to me. Like you definitely it sounds feel, like an old person candy. It's, so fair. it's like a butterscotch candy. It's like a total Ugh. old person candy, but yeah. it's pretty it. good. A peanut chew. What's in there? Okay, it's chocolate, uh, peanuts, and something chewy in there. You know, <laughs> got two of the main <laughs> ingredients of candy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else? Uh, what else we have in there? Lively chat today. Schultz, Goddard, Waller, or Ingram. Ingram. I can't believe I'm doing it, but Ingram. Finman's frozen. Yes, yeah, yeah. Finman's frozen. Another great call. David A. Wow, David A. You know, maybe we can see eye to eye after all. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let's check out our poll here. Uh, peanut m ms 51%. Sour Patch Kids, 38%. Let's do one more poll. We got like eight minutes left. Do one more poll, Thomas. Okay. List four different types of m ms and let people choose their favorite. Okay. All right, and original and peanut have to be on there. I think peanut butter should be on there, and then there's a know, lot of good. The mint is good. The caramel is good. Wait, peanut and peanut butter are two different. Yeah, they're yep. different, and yep. peanut butter might be better. It's sneaky, peanut but it's so like, good. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. It, I mean, it's basically just a, it's just a, a Reese's peanut butter, a Reese's pieces, but with more peanut butter. Yes, yes, and a better shell. Uh, Stevenson, Ayuk, or Peoples-Jones? Stevenson, for sure. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mike Williams or Alan Lazard, full PPR. So it's Williams. definitely Williams if Watson plays. What if Watson doesn't play? I'm still Williams. Williams, okay. Uh, Snickers Frozen is the best. Yeah, Snickers Frozen is outstanding. And no the comment. Snickers ice cream bar. Oh, those were so good. Those were amazing. No right. comment. I'm not, I can't do a kicker question. I can't do it. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing a kicker question. Get out of here, Gregory. I like you, Gregory, but not, no kickers. Has no one shouted out Haribo gummy bears or Haribo? Yeah, classic. Yeah, the good point, Jersey. Yeah. By the way, I like the name Jersey. Are you from Jersey? I don't know. Yeah, she is actually. She's in San Diego right now, but she's from Jersey. I saw it in the oh. chat. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, that's really weird that you knew that information yeah, yeah. really fast too. Golfer Fields. <laughs> Golf. <laughs> uh, wow. Can I possibly I saw it in the chat with uh, this okay. lineup? Oh, this is a terrific lineup. But yes, Justin Fields scares me right now. So I hope yeah. he doesn't let you down. He does scare me. You know. Yeah. Justin Fields against the Lions would be potentially QB one. I just don't know how I'm out on Justin Fields this week entirely. I think you're going a little too far. Sam Darnold just scored 23 points against them. Zach Wilson scored we'll 22. Check, we'll check back at the end of the week. They have no offensive line left. They have no receivers left, and he's not running. What is well? He, he didn't run this game. I wouldn't say he's not running. Why he would didn't. they run him? He's already playing through multiple injuries, and he's their franchise. He's it's, that's what he does. He runs. Oh, thank I you, Steve. Love you oh, too. Skis, man. thank you. <laughs> skis. The skis. It's a great name, the skis. Uh, there's that R at the end, though. The skeezer. Same, even yeah. better. Need three and people. His nickname is the skis. His real yeah, name. I is just made, I just created a new nickname for the skis. All right. We need three and PPR. Swift, Pacheco, DJ Moore, Dotson, Pittman, Rashad White, and Romeo Dobbs. Swift, Pacheco, Moore, Dotson, Pittman, White, Dobbs. Uh, full PPR. Moore. Dotson. Dotson. And then next time. Swift. Uh, Swift, sure. Especially with the Williams injury. You can talk me into Dobbs if Williams plays and Christian Watson doesn't, but sure. Or Dotson and Swift right now. Ayuk or DPJ? Ayuk. Yeah. For sure. Brian Robinson or Devin Singletary Robinson? V Rob. Well, that Bengals run defense is legit. Who do you think is going to win that game? Great question. I'm going to take spread? it's like one and a half angles. I would hope I think oh, they're plus one. I'm betting them right now. I think they're going to win. I want to say they're going to win, but you know, the one reason I'm, I'm a little hesitant, right? You should Oh, know. Lyle Collins. Yeah. Yes. You know how I feel about injuries on the offensive line. Lyle Collins would have been playing great over the last month, like phenomenal football injured for the year. I don't know who they're going to put in at right tackle. They don't have any depth. So we'll see. On the flip side, though, the Bills don't have Von Miller anymore. I am in a bad mood right now. Why? I told Schaefer to put peanut butter in there, and he didn't do it. He put white chocolate in there. Who is White chocolate? I didn't even know they made a white chocolate M&M. Come on. Put in and put peanut butter up there. We have five. Honestly, I think he's doing that to troll you. No, I think he's. I think he's. I think he's trolling. I think he's off his game. I I, I don't have any explanation (laughs) for this. It's week 17. He's dragging. All right, yeah. Bengals. Let's go. Plus one. The bet is made. Wait, you want to? Ah, we could have done it off off book. No juice. Oh, okay. I'll, I can cancel it right now. No, 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 no. Keep go, keep go through. Go through. I don't really have a good feel on it. <laughs> okay. Remember the last one we had that we canceled in the moment, and then that took a lot of heat for it because you missing you totally <laughs> yeah. misconstrued what actually happened online. I don't remember exactly what happened. It was it was a Bills game, right? I said I'd honor the bet. You said, no, don't worry. There's an injury, whatever it was, the injury. You're like, don't worry about it. And then you're like, Jan got out of a bet on Twitter. You didn't put any of that context in whatsoever and just dragged me. Just dragged okay. Me. All right. Um, uh, Murray or uh, Singletary? Wait, who's Murray? Why can't I? Latave. DeMar- oh, Latavius Murray? <laughs> DeMarco Murray? By the way, tell me what you think of this nickname or team name. You're a big team name guy. When I used to, when when Murray was in his prime and I had him, I did the nickname La 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 Latavius. That's good. You good? Okay. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay. Good. I'm, I wish you had had Didi Gregorius in your fantasy baseball league. Why? Gregorius. Gra, 
Go, go horse even better. Even yeah. better. Way I'll better. Go, I'll go Latavius here. I have very low expectations for Singletary this week. I agree. I think Singletary was a benefactor of the matchup last week. What kind of freaks eat white chocolate? I mean, yeah, I don't know. I'm with Jacob. Yeah, I don't even question. know where Thomas came up with that. It's a, it has to be a troll. I've There's never no seen other, it. Like, explanation, but a troll. I've never seen it. I never, it's seen a troll. It. It's a classic troll by Thomas. All right. We need the, the chiefs against the Broncos, the jets at the Seahawks or the Jaguars against the Texans. Uh, chiefs. Look at this. Look at this poll. 41% yeah. peanuts, 31% peanut butter. Wow. 15% so he, original. You redid the bowl with peanut butter? Yeah, he did. Okay. Yeah, he did. I'm proud of him. You know, it takes a, a big man to admit you're wrong. Well, what about the pretzel one? I added pretzels. The pretzel ones are pretty good. I don't, You know, I don't know that I've had them, but how could they not be good? They're pretty they good. They are good. They're really good. m and just a phenomenal candy. They get all their, all their different kinds are good. Mint, whatever you go to. The crunch Maybe. one. And then you got to try the watch white chocolate ones. No, I'll sure. never try the white chocolate. No, I know that's a real thing. That See, it was an obvious troll. <laughs> Who is the one one in a dad Ooh. draft? Heath or Dave? Good question. I like if you're looking for floor, it's Heath. If you're looking for upside, it's Dave. I think I would completely agree with that statement. I completely think Heath is agree. Heath is probably more of a hands off. You do whatever you want. If you get in yeah. trouble, you messed up. It's your own life kind of guy. Okay. Dave, I think it's probably a little bit more hands on, but also a little bit more, uh, like a little bit more fun, a little bit more goofy, like, you know, taking the kids right. to go bowling like he did over the weekend, that kind of thing. That's just a guess. I think that's a <laughs> so, good guess, actually. Um, by the way, did you see Heath's statement on Twitter from today? And I want to get your thoughts on that. No, I didn't see it. It's like a nice thing by Heath. I will, we'll end with it. I'm going to read, I'm going to do rapid okay. fire questions. We'll, we'll end with it. I'll pull it up in the meantime. Deshaun Watson, Derek Carr, or Mike White in a two QB league? Watson, Carr, Mike White. Matt, he says Matt White. I'm saying Mike White. Um, I'm going to go Mike Take. White. Pick two in this group. DeAndre Hopkins, Evan Ingram, Zay Jones, DJ Moore, Latavius Murray. Trying to get this heat tweet. All right, up, I'm going to go I'm... with Hopkins and Moore. If McSorley starts, I'll probably go with Evan Ingram and Moore. Um, would you start golf over Justin Herbert? Yes. Wow. Mel, what the hell? Like, Thank what? you, Mel. My man or lady. I don't know. I can't tell your picture has, I can't see it's too far away. Mel is a, could be Mel's kids. we don't know if Mel is a, we don't know. Mel can be yeah. go either way, but thank you, Mel. Wow. Thank you so much. That's really disappointing. Wait, what golf or Herbert? Did you answer that? Truth hurts. Did you answer golf. this? Yeah, yeah I, I it's off. I mean, I can't believe that. Yeah. Uh, one golf. more here. Okay. Then we'll do the Heath thing. Daniel Jones or Gardner Minshew? Minshew. All right. Minshew. What's the Heath thing? Okay. He tweeted, it's about time for my annual pot splitting debate. I only have one hard rule. If the other team asks to split, you do it. For karma, fine. But mostly, you don't know what's going on with their money. Locking in a couple hundred bucks might be pretty important to them. It's a nice thing. Yeah. It is, but you're not at all obligated. You're not obligated. And like from the money side of it, like that's a nice thing. If some, I would rather like someone tell me if they really need the money or something. So I could do, I don't really like chopping. Right. So I'm not a big fan of it in poker too. When it gets to the end and everyone's like, you want to do a chop unless it's like late at night or whatever in the tournament. And I'm like, I want to go home, but I just think play for the, like play, just play as it's supposed to be like 900 for first, 600, whatever it may be like that's the that's the that's what you agreed on that's the whole point of it i don't know i don't like at the end it's just like i eh, just even it all out because then also once you get to that game like are you really going to care about your fantasy matchup like you still want the title you still want the title you can agree you can do whatever you want right you don't have to split it evenly you can say okay the way it's set up right now is winner gets 500 and the loser gets 200 or whatever right um why don't we make it uh 400 and 300 right you that I'm that. good with those kind of chops, but like the yeah, full so split, I think takes away some of the fun here. of it. Right. You at least have something at yeah. stake. You have a hundred bucks. I want stake. something at stake money monetarily. Oh, all right. So David, a, you thought you were friends, but I'd rather eat dirt than this. <laughs> <in order. laughs> you know, David, a, I really thought we were coming to an agreement here. I really thought things were going to change, but we're right back to square one. I love it. Square one is a lot more fun. Thank you, David. A. Uh, and what's the schedule next week is in week night, week 18. Uh, I don't, it's pretty normal. We're not going to have a mailbag episode. I guess we'll have this live streams. I don't know about that. 
I don't know, honestly. Uh, we'll figure that out. But in terms of the podcast, it will be a normal show. Good luck to you, everybody. Um, thanks for being here. If you're not with us next week for our live, if we have one next week, I don't even know. Mm-hmm. This is your last Tuesday night. Awesome stuff. Appreciate it. It's, it we couldn't do this without you. You guys make the show. Great. You really do all of your comments. So, and really appreciate Thomas and all his polls, which have gotten progressively worse. But I think you know, I think it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot to a lot to work with for next year. A lot. We yeah. learned a lot of lessons. This is his first year, so we'll have a lot of notes for Thomas when it's yeah, a lot of notes. Absolutely. Uh, Have a great night, everybody. We'll talk to you tomorrow on the podcast. See ya.